Hello, my crafty friends. It's Jelly Bean. And I thought maybe I would take you along on a little journey, I guess. Not really a journey, but craft along with me. Show you what I'm doing. <laughs> I love decorating and packaging and, you know, in all the swaps you see, they always say, send out what you would like to receive. Do it the way you would like to receive it. And I've seen a few boxes that people have sent out where they decorated the boxes and stuff. So I'm just kind of trying that to see, you know, how m I don't think it's going to add a lot to the weight of the packaging but even if it adds a couple ounces I think it'll be worth it because can you imagine the surprise on someone's face when they open a package and the box is decorated and everything's so pretty when they open it so I am decorating the inside of this box and I'm not gonna say who it's for or what's going in it but I just want to kind of show y'all what and how I do this now I used to sell on eBay I used to have a store on there and I got a bunch of free boxes so if y'all ever get an eBay box and say oh I didn't order anything from eBay it might be from me because <laughs> I got envelopes and boxes from eBay and I've just put some tape on the bottom and this box is going to one of my shabby chic friends so I'm gonna kind of do it shabby and what I do I go to the thrift store every once in a while when I can find a few extra dollars and I buy these wallpaper border rolls and they're usually like 50 cent a roll and these are the ones that I use to I'm just cutting off here where the label was because it's sticky but I use these to decorate the inside of the box. Number one, they're usually pretty much the right size and they also, most of them are waterproof. So when you put them in there, I feel like it kind of helps protect, you know, whatever you put in there. So this, no secret, is going to be an embellishment box. So that's why I needed this box because if y'all, as y'all have seen, my embellishment boxes are not very flat. They're pretty dimensional. So I'm going to use some of this um, pink, just regular pink, eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And I'm going to Usually when I lay one in the bottom, I leave it loose where they can take it out and use it. Let's see what size my box is here. It's about 10 by 8.5. 8.5 by 10. So I'm going to have to cut this down a little bit. Get my paper trimmer here. And I'm going to have to mark it because this paper trimmer don't go out well that far. I need a pencil. Please hold Every pencil I grab wasn't sharpened, so I'm just going to grab this pen. Alright, so, 10, I'm, I'm using my mat to just put a couple little lines here, and then I need, this should just about be the right size, but I'm going to trim off just a hair to make it where to lay down in there. And... I'm sorry y'all, I haven't been uploading a lot of videos lately. I kind of have a lot going on my dryer stopped working so now when I do laundry I have to hang up my clothes so that takes a lot of time and then because you don't have the dryer they wrinkle and you have to iron them so sometimes we don't know how convenient the conveniences are that we have until we don't have them all right, I'm going to trim a little bit more off of this one because it doesn't want to lay down. And I don't usually measure that well. There we go. Oh, now I need a little bit off the other side. So let me cut. 
cut a little bit off there. Voila! Now I got a piece that lays flat. Probably gonna need that again, so I'm not gonna put it very far. And I'm gonna save all my strips because I can use these on cards or you never know. Anything. I have let's see, none of those. See how my paper is. I'm a slow crafter and I'm a chaotic crafter, I guess you would say, because I just like to figure it out as I go along. That's one reason why I can't do a lot of, oh, this is everything you'll need in this video, because half the time I don't know either, y'all. <laughs> Now this is how I measured this. I laid it across here and I made a little indent with my fingernail. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but that's how I measured that one. So I can cut it off. All right, I got that. And now I want to cut off. See, I just pinched it with my fingernail. It makes a little tiny indent right there. And that way I know where to cut it. All right, now I have the side of my box and it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to come up to the edge because we're gonna cover this with the wallpaper. But I do need two like this, so. I'm going to grab another one and see. Okay, now I'm just going to cut these. And I'm just cutting them to the size of the inside of the boxes. Box. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I got those two. Now I need to cut one for the end. And I might be able to get. One, use one sheet of paper for this because like I said it doesn't have to go all the way up it is so humid here in North Carolina right now y'all it is unreal it I was going somewhere the other day and my car thermometer read 100 degrees but the weatherman said with the humidity that it felt like 106 and the humidity it's so bad that when you walk outside you just start pouring sweat I feel like I'm living in Florida again I grew up there so I'm not someone that doesn't know what humidity is but it's been Florida like here lately here in North Carolina so all right now I got my four sides cut I got my bottom down here now what I do next is I just lay my box on the side here and I take my ATG gun and I run a couple strips down through here and would mess up since I'm filming it took me forever it would be every time I threaded it'd be on the wrong side and I was like what is going on so all right technically I was supposed to just go up to the fold and now my bottom paper has fallen let's take that out for a minute all right now I'm going to take some of my favorite glue that I've showed y'all many times craft medley premium craft craft glue <laughs> quick setting machine washable all that good stuff and I'm just going to pretty much put a line Let's see if y'all can see me I can't see my camera that well um put a line around the edge just to hold it down and since this is just the bottom of each side I'm just going to go to the fold 
but I want it to hold down real good. I don't want it to come off. And you have to take in consideration the heat and humidity of where it might be going. I forget where this one's going, but it doesn't matter if you make it where it'll withstand anything. It'll withstand anything. <laughs> so, let me put a couple lines. See, the uh, ATG just holds it into place while you are doing everything until the glue dries. So that just helps hold it into place until the glue dries, which this glue dries pretty quick. Do, 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 do. It's pretty thick too, so it takes a minute to get down. I usually lay my bottle on the side so it's ready. And for some reason I just neglected to remember that. Okay, now I'm just putting some glue across here. I mainly want to get the edges. And I've done this two three other times and it's it feels really good when somebody says I don't want to throw the box away I want to use it and then you tell them oh but you can you can cut the box apart and use the box <laughs> and then they're like oh yeah so it's really neat when someone likes something so much they want to keep it <laughs> one lady said she was gonna keep the box forever that made me feel good to know that what I did and spent my time doing for her, she appreciated, you know? So, makes me want to do it even more when people really like it. It's like when y'all like my videos, I want to do more. Okay, now again, it doesn't have to come all the way up because... Our wallpaper will cover a part of it. We're just going to cover up the brown box part. And this one probably will come a little bit lower than the rest of them, but that's okay. Just make sure to mash it down in the corners and for some reason, oh, I know why the box ain't holding together. I cut it down and I was going to cut the box down and I actually slid it on the corners. That's all right. I can tape it back up. Okay. Last side. It really doesn't take that long to do this. So, it's very much worth doing for the smiles that it brings it is just so worth it and that's you know it's one reason why I do this and swap because I love when people like your stuff I mean who doesn't like that to know that you created something just for them I mean that's like when I had my challenge and everybody sent me stuff and just to know that they sat down and made that just for me nobody else to me is very very special so it's very gratifying and then you make so many new friends I have made so many friends on here and you know I just appreciate my subscribers and the friends that I have made it is awesome okay now here is my bottom piece again that's the hardest part right there that's the hardest part and when you put your stuff in it's gonna hold it down too now I don't glue the bottom one down so they can pull it out and use it and that way too if they want to cut the box apart they can cut it on one side cut the bottom out and then unfold it and have one big long flat piece that they can cut out and use pieces out of and stuff like that so I picked this little shabby looking wallpaper it's got some flowers on it some little teeny tiny flowers here and I'm just going to take it and cover each flap but I'm not gonna cut it off I'm gonna let it go down into the box so 
the first thing that I'm going to do is just measure how long I need each one and here's my pinching measuring system again <laughs> I just kind of pinch it on where I need it to be cut and that's where I cut it that's easier than pulling out a ruler and having to look and see where each mark is and count the marks and everything else so okay where's my fold again right here now I'm just gonna put it on my paper cutter let me see okay put it on my paper cutter and now that I messed it all up I can't hardly see where my fold is Okay, so, oh, I see it now. Okay, got it. And if you cut it a little bit too long, that's okay too. You can always cut it off. And this paper also has like a coating on it, a sheen-like. It's got a little, a nice texture with a sheen. And I really, I like using the wallpaper to do this with for several reasons. Not only does it pr help protect with the coating and waterproofing, but it has a nice texture too. Okay, now I'm gonna measure the end. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all four pieces while I have the cutter out as well, right? Okay. How y'all like my measuring system? <laughs> Pinch and cut. The trick to it is to make sure you have it flat up against the top so you get the cut straight. Now, let me measure this and see. I'm just measuring it to the one that I've already cut. Okay, put a little dot here. Hope this pin right. And right on the mark. There we go. Now we got all four sides cut. Put the paper cutter up. And now I'm going to come in with the ATG and I'm just going to run some vertical I like doing stuff like this for mail and everything like that and Alicia who is Wagman 510 is having a flat mail challenge and I'm very seriously thinking about making a little flat mail thing I have an idea in my head of something to create I don't know why this is taking so long, but I'm thinking about doing that, but it's going to depend on my schedule and how much time I have. If I can't get it done soon and get it out, it won't get there in time because her flat mail challenge ends August 1st, I think, but... Having to do laundry without a dryer is kind of hard and it takes up a lot of time. Plus my grandson's out of school and him with ADHD, he needs quite a bit of attention. So, okay, now when I put this on, I line it up with the top edge and put it down, lay it down like this. I was trying to do it where y'all could see it, but I line it up with the top edge in one side, usually the left side, because I'm right-handed, and just get it put down. And I forgot to put glue at the bottom part, so I'm just going to add some glue at the bottom of the paper, flip it up. But uh, that way, if there's anything on the other side left over, you can just cut it off. So it really 
if you get it a little bit too long, that's better than getting it too short. So, alright. Now I got that laid down. Now, you can see there's some over on this side. I had slit the box down. I was going to resize it, but since I thought about doing this, I'm not going to do that. So I'll retape the corners. So now I'm just going to come over here and just cut the extra off. Those being slits kind of helping a little bit. <laughs> But I'll stick that back in there like that and tape it back up. And now I'm just going to continue to do all four sides the same way. But what I was saying is I have an idea for a really neat kind of flat mill enclosure, but I don't know if it's going to work. I've never milled anything internationally, and I've never done a flat mill before, so this will be a first for a lot of things if I can get it done in time. And I may just send her one anyway. She's kind of limited on some stuff over there, so... I might just send some stuff for her to use. If it doesn't make it for the flat mail challenge, then she'll have it. I'm running out of glue. That's what the problem is. I'm just about out. I need to grab another bottle. But for right now, I figured this would be all right. So I'm just going to add some glue here. Try to focus on the edge because you really want your edge coming down real good. And then I'm going to go in here, put some down, down here for the bottom part to stick to. And now I've got to find which one of these was this side. There it is. Alright, now I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to line it up at the top and on the left side. And then just smooth it down. You can use a brayer if you want to. I just didn't get mine out, so this is doesn't take that long. So. And again, it's probably hanging over. It is, so I'm going to cut it off. Oh, something fell. <laughs> All right, now I will do. It kind of looks all jumbled up when you're doing it, but when you get it all complete, it really looks good. And when you get your stuff in there, I'm gonna take that out while I'm working on it because I don't want it to fall down in glue. All right. I might just speed it up through this part, y'all. I know y'all are probably sitting there going, yeah, 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 all four sides, we get it. Alright, now, see how cute that is, y'all? Who wouldn't like to get that? Okay, now, I'm going to put the embellishment box in here. I got it wrapped in bubble wrap, and I got it put in tissue. If you see which one it is, y'all will know. So, I'm not going to show it. <laughs> But she has a YouTube channel and she'll do a video when she gets it, so y'all will see then. Alright, now I have some of this shred and I'm going to put some white shred and I'm going to put some pink shred. That looks really good with the paper on the side on it. Let me put some more of that. Okay. Alright. 
And then I'm going to put, I have these bags of little styrofoam glitter balls. And I'm just going to add the white ones. Just here and there. I'm going to add some. Got to put some fun in there. Trying to get one to go there. Ha! Right there. And then I have some of these little tiny pink foam balls. Which I have double bagged because I think the bag got a hole in it and they were going everywhere. So now I'm just going to put some of those. Doesn't that look fun, y'all? That looks so fun. Especially if you know somebody's going to do a video of your package when they get it, you know. Decorate it all up so when they open it on camera, they're totally surprised. I like to surprise people. I like to do things that make people happy. And... Okay, now... Um... No, I was going to put some little confetti in there, but... I really think that's enough. I'm going to make a card or write a note and put it in an envelope and I'm going to put it right in the center. And I'm also going to put some stickers on here. So let me grab some stickers and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, this is actually to one of my... Oh, hmm. Hmm. I like the ones that are stuck together <laughs> so I don't have to sit there and... Okay, I got a hello. So, let me poke out the E and the H. I gotta poke them all out. Sorry, should've done that. Start red. Okay, I'm going to stick my hello on here. Now I don't want to cover it up too much, but I just want to put, can y'all see, a little bit of pretty on here. And I have some of these pink butterfly little stickers. So I'm going, I put a lot of stuff in the embellishment box. So this one looks good with this paper because it's got a little bit of the cream color and the pink. So I'm just going to put that there. Isn't that so cute? And look, there's little tiny pieces of blue in here. But I also have some of these. I think these look shabby. I like them. I don't use them a lot. I don't use a lot of flat stickers a lot. That's just me. But these look like the dolly. Um, <gasps> I ripped it. In. Did y'all see that? Thank goodness it's a sticker. You can put it back together. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell nobody. It's just like a two-piece sticker. You just put it together, all right? <laughs> And I'm going to put it right here, kind of angled like it's flying. Okay. I did it. See? I can't even tell. Now, carefully, I'm going... I got a little bit of glue right there. Looks like AGT tape. But... I have something that is specifically for that. Get adhesive on a place where it's not supposed to be. These things here, and I'm just kind of cleaning it up a little bit. But these are adhesive erasers, and they are awesome. And you just rub it over it, and it rolls the adhesive that's in the spot it's not supposed to be 
right up off of there. Look at there. No more adhesive. Well, it really didn't matter because I was going to put a sticker there anyway. But very gently, gently this time, I'm going to pull this sticker and put it right here. And let's do a sideways one. Yeah, that probably doesn't make sense. But I'm going to do it over here. Oh, I know. I'm going to do two. I'm going to put one here going that way. And then I'm going to put another one going this way. And I'm going to put a word in the center. See, this is what I do when I'm crafting. I just... I don't know. I figure it out as I go most of the time. And, you know, y'all aren't going to believe this, but I am very, very new to paper crafting. I have not been doing it that long. I'm not new to crafting. I've been crafting for a very long time. But paper crafting is something that, well, I did scrapbooks. But I didn't know about all these swamps and the YouTube community channels with all the tutorials. I didn't know about all of that. And when I found out, it was like heaven's door opened. Uh, maybe not that glorious, but pretty close. <laughs> but anyway, I am so excited to be a part of this community now now isn't that adorable it says happy day and it's got two little butterflies on each side now let me find i guess i shouldn't put that there because it kind of clashes don't it see if i can take that off gently and put one of the others This is one of those trial and error, and <clears throat> maybe as Alicia says, prototype. I do prototypes a lot. <laughs> okay, I just have this other butterfly I'm going to put here. Maybe I'll put it like this, going toward the hello. And let's see, what day do I have? Our day. <laughs> what word? do I have okay I love all my subscribers they're my YouTube family so I'm just going to put a little bit of love right here I really like the way this is turning out y'all it's turning out better than what I thought it was going to be Sometimes I surprise myself. Okay, and that kind of looks shabby, don't it? I'm poking out my letters and thanks. The S and the K where it goes around and stuff. I'm just poking out the letters. So, let's see. They poke out and then they stick to it. <laughs> and they don't want to... One just wants to give me a hard time today. Okay. And we got thanks. So, I think that looks pretty shabby. I think she's going to like that. Alright, so I got thanks for being my subscriber. Have a happy day. I love you because you're my subscriber. And hello. So that's it, y'all. That's what I do to decorate the inside of my boxes. And I will put a card in this and fold it up, put my tape on it. I'll probably put another piece of tissue on top and kind of tuck it around to kind of hold everything in place. 
crunch up some tissue and put on there. So, or, no, nah, that's what I'm going to do. Crunch up some tissue and put on top or add more of this. But, anyway, I wanted to share that with y'all. Today is packaging day, and I'm getting everybody's packages ready to go out. So, have a crafty day, and we'll see you real soon. Until next time.